very special program. I'm Philip Cameron, and welcome to Daily Faith. Today, we are going to talk about the blood of Jesus and the power that the blood of Jesus has over all the work of the enemy in your life. We're going to break families' chains today and set them free. I believe you'll be blessed by this program. As I said, I'm Philip Cameron, and this is Daily Faith. I'm so glad you could join us today, and I believe that God has put us in contact for a purpose. God never makes mistakes. He always places the right people at the right time for your needs to be met. And I believe that God has had you watch this program for a very special purpose. Do you know that there's a promise from God? I call it the unclaimed promise of God, and that is this, that when you are saved, you have the right to believe God for total household salvation. The Bible says a lamb for a house. This story is an amazing story. It's just before the Passover. All kinds of plagues have fallen against Egypt. And Moses has gone to Pharaoh and said, let my people go. And Pharaoh says, well, go out into the wilderness for a few days and have a feast and then bring the, 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 the children of Israel back. And Moses says, no. We're not coming back. Not a hoof, not a hoof of an animal will be left behind. When he first went in there, the Bible says that God hardened Pharaoh's heart. God hardened. You would think if God was going to set us free, that he would soften Pharaoh's heart. No, sometimes God hardens your enemy's hearts to get them in a place that they've got no other choice but to be broken to let you go. And that's what happened. Plagues happened. All kinds of terrible things happened. But the last night, the Passover, the death angel was going to fly over the land of Egypt and, and everything that was the firstborn, everything, every lamb, every camel, every cow, every son, every daughter, every firstborn in the land was going to die this night. And the children of Israel were told, get ready to move. I'm, re I'm, I'm about to change your circumstance. You have, may have been slaves for centuries. You may never have known what it is to be free. But I'm about to break something that has been holding you bound for years. And the Lord wants you to know that he's about to break something in your family. Things that are holding your family bound in slavery. Tonight's the night. And this night happened. And they had a Passover, and they stood there with their shoes on, and they're ready to move. And the Bible says, take the blood of a lamb and dip the branch of hyssop in the blood and put it on the doorposts and lintel of your house. A lamb for a house. And the children of Israel took a lamb and, and slew the lamb and took the blood of the lamb and dipped the branch of hyssop in it and painted the door. If it was you, how well do you think your doorpost and lintel would be painted? I'll tell you now, I'd have, the whole house would have been red if I'd been there. That day. I'd have been painting and, and gone back and said, Let, let's try this again and make sure it's really painted. And when they painted the blood of the lamb on the doorposts and lintels of their house, the Bible says, when the death angel crossed over, none in that family were harmed. And as, can you imagine, as morning came, when the wails of the Egyptians began to be heard, Pharaoh's firstborn, every, everybody, everybody lost something. All the cattle that were lying dead in the fields, the, the sheep and the, everything was just, there was a slaughter and God's people went out protected by the blood of the lamb. And I'm going to tell you, I, when I was growing up, and I'm sure I did the same thing with my kids, when I was growing up in Scotland, my mother used to look at me, and she would say to me almost every day before I leave for school, she would say, Philip Cameron, if ever you get in trouble, 
you plead the blood of Jesus. Plead the blood. And I, I was trained, if ever to this day, if ever I'm in a situation that I'm not sure what's going to happen, I will say, I cover the situation by the blood of Jesus. And that's a direct point back to the lamb on the doorposts and lintel of the house. So right now for your family, I come against the darkness of hell that's held them captive for God knows how long. It may be generations of darkness in your home. Well, I'm here to tell you today that I'm going to agree with you that the blood of Jesus, the blood of the Lamb, will be applied to your home right now. And when death's angel comes around you, it cannot penetrate past the blood of Jesus Christ. It's a lamb for a house. And the Bible says that all of them got up and began to walk towards liberty. And in the name of Jesus, I claim for you right now that the circumstance you find yourself in, I rebuke the devourer out of your home. I come against the darkness that has been just encasing your family. And I speak faith and life and love into your life and your heart. And I tell the devil, these are not yours. They've been covered by the blood of the Lamb. And I speak that in the name of Jesus. Listen. I feel that right now. I want you to write me the name of your loved one that you want God to protect. This is a pointed word to someone. Someone in your family is in danger and you're thinking, my goodness, this is a rhema word from the Lord to me. I want you to write down this address, P.O. Box 242-246, Montgomery, Alabama. It'll come back again at the end of the show, so if you get a pen and a paper, you'll have time. Or you can, you can email me, philipdcameron.com, and just send me the circumstance. Now, do it right now. If you, if you, if you, have, if you have access to a, a computer, philipdcameron right now, just dot com, and tell me who it is that needs the protection of the blood of Jesus. And you know what? I'm t I can feel this in the spirit. I can just see the, the, the angels of heaven standing up around your family, that the blood of Jesus is beginning to protect your home. Because the devil, my, my, here's my mom again. My, my mom would say to me all the time, the devil cannot cross the blood. The devil cannot cross the blood. When Jesus died on that cross, he made an open display of principalities and powers, and he conquered over the powers of darkness through the blood. Not through arguments. Nothing else matters but the blood. And I'm here to tell you right now that there is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins. Listen to this. There is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins. And sinners plunge beneath that flood Lose all their guilty stains. Lose all their guilt and stains. Lose all their guilty stains. It's your family. And sinners plunge beneath that flood lose all their guilty stains. I am here as a point of contact for you. It's not too late. It's not too far gone. The heart isn't so bad that he can't heal it. The doubt and dread isn't so dark that God's power can sweep it away with one ray of his light of hope and mercy. But you've got to do something about it. You've got to be responsible. You've got to stand up in the darkness and say, I believe that God can do this. I believe that my family can be saved. I believe in the blood of Jesus over my home will cause a death angel to pass and he'll have no place in my family. In the name of Jesus, go... Get a piece of paper, 242-246. Or my email is philip d one l and philip, philipdcameron.com. I have a book that I wrote just for you. Oh my goodness, I just feel this is so important. I wrote a book telling the story of how our family 
Every man for 200 years were alcoholics. Lost? You've never met a bunch any more lost than we were. And Jesus came. An uncle got saved and he began to pray for our family. And two young preachers came to our town and had 96 converts in six weeks. They know what to preach. They preached in a, a man called Rob Brown's bedroom. And in six weeks, they had 97 converts. 67 of them were Camerons. 60. God is ready to see your family saved. And I've got this book. I know you need this in your life to see your loved ones come to Jesus. Watch this. I'll be back in a moment. Full House. It's time for Household Salvation. We'll help you see your unsaved loved ones in a totally different light. God has given Philip insight into God's promise of household salvation. Do you know that you have a covenant throughout Scripture that promises that your family are part of your eternal inheritance? Philip's family was bound in alcoholism for over 200 years. And through the miraculous story as told in Full House, Jesus saved the Camerons. And in the span of six weeks, 67 of the Cameron family were saved. This book will change your life. Order Full House today and believe with Philip to see what God will do in your family. To order, please visit www.philipdcameron.com or call 1-833-DAILY-FAITH or contact us by mail. Post Office Box 242246, Montgomery, Alabama, 36124. I wrote this book just for you. I'm telling you, your family is not beyond the grip of grace. And I, I just, when I was talking a few minutes ago about the blood of Jesus, I felt the witness of the Holy Spirit that something shifted, something moved. You've no idea the power when someone gets up and says, I'm, it's me, I'm going to do it. God's waiting for us. Listen to me. God is waiting for you and I to rise up and say, I believe you. I trust you, Lord. The whole world changes in an instant. The prodigal son of the pig pen, in an instant, one instant. The Bible said he came to himself. Take a, a snapshot of the boy in the pig pen, covered in the pig's mess, filthy, lonely, his, his clothes are, are, are in shreds. Take a photograph five seconds later. Same place, same mess, clothes are in shreds. Nothing's changed. Oh, everything had changed. Because the boy had decided, I'm going home. I'm getting up. I'm changing my circumstance by an act of faith. And when you look at your family and say, I, Lord Jesus, I'm changing my family by the, by the blood of Jesus and my action of faith, you move heaven to move into your circumstance. Heaven can invade your family and turn darkness out. In this book, it will change, it will change how you see your family and the possibility of getting them saved. So get a hold of me any way you want, whether it's on the, the, by, by um, phone number or by the email or by the snail mail, as they call it. It's important. I love you so much. We have a tremendous opportunity in a country called Moldova. Moldova is the, the poorest country in Europe. It's like Africa in Europe. It has been voted the unhappiest place on earth. It has the highest percentage of alcoholism in the world. It was once part of Romania, taken by Russia into the Soviet Union. When the Soviet Union fell apart, this wee country with no real natural resources was spat out by itself. And at the very bottom of the pile of poverty that is there are the orphans. And our family had been working in Moldova, in Romania 10 years before then, but in, Romania, in Moldova for over 20 years. And what we discovered there is that when a girl or boy in an orphanage turns 16, they are put on the street. They're called graduate, graduate, orphan graduates. And they put them out on the street. Never had any money. Don't, are naive, painfully naive. And thousands, tens of thousands. I saw one State Department report that 400,000 Moldovan girls 
had been put on the street and were trafficked. And what the Cameron family did years ago, we began to believe God to build a house for these kids. So when they're put on the street, instead of just giving them a piece of paper and say, be careful of traffickers, they don't need that, they need a bed. And they come to us from the orphanage, both young men and young women, and we share the gospel with them. Many have spent their whole life in the orphanage and have never tried to be any use at school because there's no point because I'm just an orphan. And we put them back in school and we say, listen, if you're born, God has a plan. You're not a mistake. God has something for you to do. And the crazy thing is these kids that have no hope begin to learn like crazy. They're artists. I mean, the, 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 the creativity inside them locked up for years just kind of explodes out of them. And when they learn and they're loved and they, they, they've got their own bed and their own place and they go to their school, then they start asking us, why do you love us so much? And we say, because God loves you and you are important. And we're watching these kids turn from orphans into sons and daughters, and then from sons and daughters into missionaries. And they are changing lives. They go back to the orphanage. I don't speak Romanian, but they do. And by doing so, they bring hope and bring light and love into the orphanages. They visit the poorest of all places in the world, these villages where widows are dying, freezing to death, with families being broken by alcoholism. And they go in there, and what the love that we show them, they show others. And we are trying right now to believe God to build a place called Vatra Village. And we're going to walk you through one of these houses right now, and I think you're going to be blessed. Watch this. Hello, dear friends. My name is Ulizana, and I'm a part of the Orphan's Hands, the ministry which God used to change my life completely. I'm here now in Vatra Village, and this is one of the houses that is still in the process of being renovated. We finished already three houses, which look amazing. And I cannot wait to show you how we changed it. Actually, one of the girls from the Orphan's Hands, Nadia, she um, helped and actually she made all the design for these houses. And we are just so blessed. First, I want to show you how the houses initially looked. The renovation of these houses, it's a long process and it needed a lot of uh, financing. But with the help of God and with your help, we finished already three houses, which are so amazing. So let's go to see the finished houses. So here we are in one of the houses which are finished. So take a look, please. We had to insulate the house. We had to change all the electric wires. We had to paint all the walls. We had to install the floors. And also, we installed the heating system, as you can see. We changed the windows. We installed the doors. There are so many things that we changed in this house. But it was worth it. So on behalf of all the young girls and boys who live in these beautiful houses that you made possible, I just want to say a huge thank you for believing in us and for giving them another chance in life, which life never gave it to them. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ulizana. Her name is Ulizana. We found her at 16. Now listen, her mother didn't want her and put her into a tuberculosis hospital. She wasn't sick. And that girl spent 10 years in a TB hospital, never leaving, with no visitors, no Christmas, no birthdays, nothing. One day a woman showed up and she says, I'm your mother. As you can, Ulizana is Asian because she comes from Kyrgyzstan. Her father was Kyr from Kyrgyzstan. And this woman, European, says, I'm your mother. You've got three more sisters. Would you like to meet them? And she says, my, I mean, this is my only dream. And she took her to an orphanage and, and left her in the orphanage. And uh, when I found her, she had spent six years in the orphanage. So she was 16 years old, 10 years in a tuberculosis hospital, ten, six years in a, an orphanage, being told every day that she was ugly because she didn't look like all the other kids. The teacher saying, you're ugly. 
And she's the most beautiful girl. Loves God with all her heart. And she just walked around one of the homes, one unfinished, and one of the ones that we finished in Vatra Village. Vatra Village is a place where we want to take 90 young folk out of the orphanages, out of poverty-stricken villages, and put them in, these, in this environment, and put them in school, share the gospel with them, and I believe turn an orphan into a son and daughter, and then into a missionary. It is a huge undertaking. But God has been so faithful. I have my daughter Melody with me, and she's just come back from Moldova. She got to go there for Christmas. I didn't. And you walked around these houses. I did. And yeah, tell me how they're doing. Incredible. I was stunned. I was completely shocked when I walked around those houses and um, having seen the pictures of it when, when uh, we had just gotten the buildings um, and to see it to this point today and to know that our kids had such such a part. I mean, they were the ones who built it. You know, they were the ones who finished it. They were the ones who chose all the finishes for it. So that just made it all that much more special. But I can't, uh, you were talking about the darkness of Moldova, the, the alcoholism and the, um, the thousands of kids who are um, living without families and orphanages. And I just can't help but think how Vatra is a beacon. You know, the darker the darkness, the brighter the light. Yeah. And Vatra is a, it will be a beacon of light in the nation of Moldova. For the years that we've been operating, kids would just show up on our door. And they came from all, all parts of Moldova. Somebody told us that if we could just come to you, that we would be OK. If we, if we could make it to your house, that you would make a place for us, that you would have a place for we'd us. We'd be safe. And we would be safe. And these are people that we have never met, we don't know. And, and God brought them to us. And um, I'm, I'm excited because I can, knowing the kids that have already come through the houses and seen how they've progressed and they're building homes and, and designing homes and going out to families and poor villages and, and, and saving lives, 90 kids, we get 90 more souls that we can bring into these houses Crazy. and change them, Crazy. change their hearts, change their souls, uh, introduce them to Jesus Christ and then they go out and share the love of Christ with so many other people. And so when these are not just houses. These, these are concrete blocks. But the thing, what happens inside these, these homes is what's the most amazing thing of all. Yeah. And we need help to make, it, to make that happen. We are so close. Yeah. This whole thing between buying it and, and, and building the houses and finishing the houses, we've had to believe God for almost a million dollars so far. And we are $140,000 away from finishing Vatra Village, paying it off. And I said this the other day, if I could take you there and let you walk with me and Mel around these homes. I mean, these, these homes were built originally for rich people as a summer home beside the lake. And the government poisoned the lake with chlorine. They wanted to kill algae. And they, they, dumped, they dumped so much chlorine, killed every, every fish, all everything. And, and this project died as well. And the houses have been sitting there for nine years. And we've been given them at a, at a ridiculous price. I'd guess a quarter of what they really are in market value. And what's happening is we are now $140,000 away from paying off the homes. And if I could take you to that place and let you walk around and I can say, we could finish and buy and do all this for $1,000. I know that many of you watching today would say, I can, I can find that. I could believe God for $1,000, Philip. I could help you finish this place and save 90 more girls, just like Ulizana. You have the power of life and death in your hand. By calling the number on your screen, 833 Daily Faith, and talking to that counselor and just say, listen, I want to help with Vatra, V A T R A. I want to give $1,000 or $500, whatever you can invest in one of these kids' lives. You'll allow us to take them out of darkness into the light of the gospel of Jesus. You have that power. And I just ask you to pray. I'm, if you'll pray and say, Lord, you want to help finish Vatra. Do you want to help Philip and Melody and the Camerons finish Vatra Village? 
I'll promise he'll speak to you. And if you're obedient, I believe that this need will be met soon because we can see God work already in many folks' lives. Another part of this miracle is sponsorship. Each one of these houses will take 120 people supporting it by a dollar a day. Every 100 pe 120 people watching me just now, if 120 folk say, I'll give a dollar a day to help you, Philip, one of the houses can be opened and we can take kids in because that will pay for all the, the heating and the, the food and the... <laughs> you imagine 90 kids, how much that costs. Will you pray about being part of this answer? You can give by calling 833-DAILY-FAITH. You can give a one-time gift of any amount, and that will go towards VATRA. You can give a dollar a day, and by doing so, you are undergirding and supporting it. What you do for others, God will do for you. We love you so much. God bless. For over 25 years, the Cameron family has been changing the lives of orphans in Romania and Moldova. From providing running water, flushing toilets, and clean wells, to coal for heat, new windows, as well as food and clothing, they champion the physical needs of the orphans in these broken and desolate countries. Many of Moldova's orphans are saved from the horrors of trafficking through homes founded by the Camerons, and in the process, Orphans become daughters and sons. They come to know their heavenly father and are forever changed by the love of Jesus. God helped the Camerons lift these amazing young men and women out of darkness. Now, no longer orphans, they want to return and invade that very same darkness with the light of Jesus Christ. The Orphan's Hands equips these daughters and sons to become missionaries. Your monthly gift of $31 will allow us to rescue and take in more girls and boys, saving them from the hell of human trafficking. Your monthly partnership will allow us to care for those in the Orphan's Hands homes in Moldova and the Ukraine. When you partner with us on a monthly basis, giving a dollar a day, you will receive every 30 seconds, a testimonial book of the lives changed by the Orphan's Hands. If you want to join Philip and Chrissy in taking care of these precious young people, please contact us today by calling 833-DAILY-FAITH. You can also give by going online to philipdcameron.com or by writing to Post Office Box 242246, Montgomery, Alabama 36124. So many lives depend on what we do. Thank you for loving the lost. Philip would love to hear from you. If there is a need for prayer in your life and you want him to pray for your unsaved loved ones, reach out to Philip at 833 Daily Faith. We believe for great things for you. Contact him today. Daily Faith with Philip Cameron, The Orphan's Hands, reserves the right to direct allocated funds to the greatest need.